Hello and welcome to day 26 of 30 GIMP tutorials and I have a question for you. Don't you hate it when you take a photo and the sky is washed out and void of any clouds? Well, no worries because today I'm going to show you how to replace a plain boring sky with some fluffy clouds and I'm going to share three keys for making it appear more realistic. So let's do it. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started by making a selection of the sky to remove it and then we'll replace it with some clouds. So I'm going to use the fuzzy select tool here to make my selection and I have talked about this particular tool in a previous tutorial, but this is how it works. Once you click on your sky here, it's going to sample the color of the pixel that you clicked on and it's going to look for a range of colors similar to it and it's going to increase or decrease the range of colors based on your threshold setting. So if I click right here, you can see the area of the sky that was selected, which is not all of it, of course. So if I want to increase the range of colors to sample and find, I need to increase the threshold. Then when I click on the sky, it will select a larger range of colors. But if you keep coming over here to the threshold to find something perfect, you're going to drive yourself crazy because you're never going to find a perfect option for it. So what I recommend doing is finding something close and then adding to it if needed. I'm going to hold down my shift key to add to it. And once I click, it will then add more of the sky to the selection. So I have the threshold set to 55 and I was able to select all of the sky, but I don't know if it's perfect yet until I remove the sky and examine the image. So what I need to do now is convert it to a layer mask. But first we need to go up to select and select invert because we're going to come over here to our layer mask and select selection for the type of layer mask and you need to invert it first. Otherwise it's going to remove the opposite of what you need. So I'm going to go ahead and click add and now the sky is gone. I'm going to deselect with command or control shift plus a and to confirm that I got all of the sky and nothing else because sometimes it may pick up something in the foreground. I'm going to add a new layer called background and I'm going to set the foreground color to black so I can fill it with black and then I'm going to move it below the image layer. So at first glance it looks like I did a pretty good job with my selection so now I can go ahead and add a new sky. Now if your selection wasn't as good as mine you may need to come in and adjust the layer mask by painting with black or white to make adjustments to it. So black is going to remove the sky, white is going to add it back. So I have my new sky here. I'm just going to click and drag it over the document and it will be added as a new layer. And then I just need to move it below the image layer and I have a new sky. But we need to make some adjustments to the sky because the lighting direction in the sky here is different from the original image. And if you don't fix it, it's going to look fake. So if you take a look at the sand dunes here, you can kind of see where the light is coming from based on the shadows. So we have really dark shadows here, lighter here and lighter here even still. So the light is probably coming from over here on the right. And if you take a look at the clouds, the shade is on the opposite side. So the light from the clouds here is coming from over here on the left. So I'm going to come up here to layer and select transform and select flip horizontal. And now I have the lighting direction in the same place or location as the original image. Now the other thing we want to do to make this look realistic is two things. We want to add what is known as atmospheric haze. And you've probably seen this before in images shot during the day where the horizon is very bright, at least the sky area is very bright. And then up at the top, it's much darker. So we want to add a gradient to increase the brightness on the horizon and make it darker on top. And we can actually see that in the original image here. I'm going to go ahead and delete the layer mask here just temporarily. And we can see the horizon here is much brighter versus up here at the top. So I'm going to undo that with command or control plus the letter Z. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to change the background color here 
to something bright. So I'm going to switch my foreground color here to an off white. I don't want it pure white. I want a little bit of blue in there. So maybe something like that. And then with my bucket fill tool, which you can grab with shift plus B, I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. Then we're going to grab our cloud layer here and we're going to add a layer mask in white. We're going to switch our foreground color now to black and we're going to use our gradient tool, which you can grab with the letter G. And then in the tool options, you want to make sure you have black to transparent selected and make sure that your shape is set to linear. Then you can click and drag up to add that atmospheric haze. Now to make sure this line is perpendicular, hold down your control key before you start it and it will lock it in place. And now that we have that atmospheric haze on the horizon, I want to make the top part darker. So I'm going to create a new layer called darker sky. And I don't want it in black. I actually want a different color. So I'm going to choose a dark blue color here. You can use any color you want. And then I'm going to grab my paint bucket tool again with a shift plus B to fill it in with that blue color. Let's add a layer mask in white again. Let's grab our gradient tool. And then I'm going to click down here and drag up here to the top. Hit enter or return. And then we're going to change the blend mode to soft light or overlay, depending on which one you prefer. Actually, I think I like that one better. Now that you know how to replace your skies in GIMP, check out that playlist to your left to learn more about editing, retouching, and styling your images in GIMP. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.